The VST Ampereck is a guitarist paradise and it's included in the effects that come with Cubase. The VST Ampereck is perfect for people with small spaces and limited budgets, people who can't afford all of the great classic guitar amplifiers, microphones and pedals. The VST Ampereck emulates a number of famous classic guitar amplifiers and these amplifiers have been at the forefront of almost every classic sound in terms of music genre over the last 50 or 60 years. You can even mix and match classic amplifiers with speaker cabinets, so the possibilities are nearly endless. Another critical component of guitar amplification emulations is getting the microphones right. VST Amp Rack lets you choose between two classic microphones and you can blend in between the two microphones and also change their positioning on the actual speaker cabinet. And that also gives you a number of different possibilities in terms of the overall sound. When it comes to effects, we can set up our very own custom pedal board. So we can choose which of these pedals we want to have into the signal chain before it goes into the actual amplifier. So to a certain extent, it's very typical to how you would normally play. Lead out of your guitar, into your pedal board, into the amplifier. But we can also add pedals after the amplifier this is not really something a lot of guitarists would do, so it offers us the opportunity to come up with even more unique sounds and keep shaping the sounds so that it all fits together into our music production. There's quite a lot of included effects, and a neat thing about having these effects in the door is you can do things like sync them up to the project tempo. So that's not something that's easy to do with external guitar pedals, especially if you're using multiple guitar pedals that require syncing. So for example, a delay and a modulation. You can see your signal chain or configuration in the configurations tab. At the moment, I'm on a mono channel, but if I put the VST amp rack over a stereo channel, then I've got the ability to have the configuration or the signal chain in mono or in stereo which is really neat for a greater sense of stereo imaging. Over in the master tab, we can turn the EQ on and we can enable different bands of the EQ and of course change the EQ settings. Of course, it's really important for any guitarist to have their guitar in tune. So we've also got a guitar tuner, which you can access just by pressing on the button and that bypasses the master effects. So you'll hear the guitar signal as it was before it enters the VST Ambrack. And of course, then we've got a final master pedal with a master volume. You can use the tabs on the left and the right hand side of the amplifier to see the pre and post pedal effects that you're using in this configuration. You can also minimize the view and just get a classic guitar amplifier, which gives you that very tactile gain, presence, master volume and EQ. And you can also change in between classic guitar amplifiers and classic guitar sounds by using the drop down menu. So this is handy if you need quick access to different types of amplifiers or maybe if you're just trying to get that initial guitar sound up and find something that you like. Maybe you're just starting out and you're unsure of the different types of guitar amplifiers and their classic sounds, in which case that's perfectly okay and acceptable because there's so many presets that come included with the VST amp rack. So it's a matter of loading the presets and going and having a look at the configurations to see what components are involved in the overall sound. And of course, there's so many presets, so you can just keep choosing one until you find something that you like. And as with everything in Cubase in terms of effects, you can save and recall your very own presets. One final really quick tip, VST Amp Rack doesn't just have to be used on guitars. Try it on a number of different things to see if you can find a unique sound that's going to help the track poke through or complement the mix. Hey, thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. If you've liked it, please give us the thumbs up, subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel, and maybe drop by and leave us comments to tell us how you're being creative using the VST Airbrake. I'll catch you in another video.